Good morning. I look like crap, but oh well, let's do the day together. So I'm going to vlog today and I have like a few things in my mind that I want to do. So I'm moving house at the end of the month. It is currently, so today is the, oh my God, it's the 9th and I move on the 23rd and I basically haven't packed much at all. So today I'm going to pack. I need to nip to town and just get some work pants because I start my new job on Monday. Yeah, I'm moving, start a new job and I'm trying to orchestrate that with a six month old child as a single parent is a lot. So as you can imagine, I'm stressed, but we're gonna start the day off positive. We're gonna start the day off. We're gonna start the day off. God, I can't speak today. With a nice coffee. Oh, my nose is running. You know what's really gross, but the fact that your body can produce that much of the lead when you have a cold, it like actually disgusts me. <laughs> The most annoying thing about moving is the stuff being everywhere and not being able to fully use the kitchen or the bedroom, Ugh, stuff like that. You can tell I'm stressed. Right, so for my breakfast, I'm just gonna have some sausages, I think. Um, I've got a big thing. My sister is my guarantor. Obviously I've had to have a guarantor because I'm on maternity leave, so I haven't actually been in employment. Um, and I'm going into new employment as of Monday. So and you usually need like three months of pay slips and stuff. So anyway, she is my guarantor, but the referencing people are being really like pernickety about her contract and said like it's not long enough. So I'm not gonna get stressed, but they were like, we might not be able to accept the reference. So I'm just a bit like, um, I have no idea what the hell else I would do. So I can't get stressed by it, but that's the current situation of the day. Like why does this stuff happen? She literally got accepted on a mortgage with, with that contract and to be my guarantor, they are literally making her jump through so many hoops and her work can't confirm it because they use a third party, which they honestly, it's all stressful. It's also stressful. Calorie deficit means that these are like your best friend. So I weigh out everything, including sauces. Like I cannot wait until like cutting my calories is not part of my life. And I can just simply maintain them because it's so boring. Like I'm not, I'm not interested in doing it. But I feel like another, my goal weight when I started was 10 stone. Um, and I currently weigh 10 stone 6 and I started off, when I had Lila, I was 12 stone 6. So that was like after she was born, I weighed myself when I got home. So I've lost 2 stone. Um, but yeah, I want to lose maybe like 6 more pounds and then I'll just see where I am. I'm actually quite happy with where I am now to be honest. Like I'm not feeling like the need to really lose any more weight, like lose more weight. like. I want to get to my goal and then I'll just go from there but I'm so happy and doing it has really made me feel a lot more confident and I don't necessarily think you need to lose weight to feel more confident it's just like a lot of my old clothes fit me and I just feel a bit more like myself so I'm very happy I did it all on a calorie deficit and then going to the gym and running I'd say like I lost the most weight running to be honest like I was at like a stagnant 11 stone like it just was not shifting and then I started running and then I kind of lost half a stone really really quickly so I don't know okay so it's been a few hours I've had two ciders and I made like quite a lot of progress so here we go I'm about to take all the books off the bookshelf um the drawers in the kitchen are done the cupboard's done and i see to do like under my bed but i'm honestly considering it's only like two o'clock and i think i'm gonna go get my nails done for work i just feel like i'm gonna regret it if i don't um and i did want to do something else but i can't even remember i should have got them done this morning but i forgot to take my bank card and it's cash only so and the, honestly look just graceful i just want like short square like milky white i probably will go get them done i think <laughs>
I got them done. You still can't see the blueiness, but they do look a little bit blue. Anyway. <sighs> Fresh. <clears throat> How much better? Oh my God, my pit stains are just raw. Anyway, they're a marked improvement. I'm going to get a cozy set of clothes on because after spilling all that water on myself, like, I'm going to show you on my jeans that <laughs> it left a mark. Like, it wasn't just a little bit of water, and then I had to sit there in it, and it was so embarrassing. And the nail shop was actually quite full, but I'll be able to see. You see where all the water stains are? Look at that. I have just discovered the world of Pookie and Jet on TikTok, and I've been down that rabbit hole for the last half an hour. What does he do for a living? Like, that is crazy. He took her to Paris and bought her a Birkin and then he bought her another one whilst they were there. So this is the current state of affairs. This is the office. You will not believe it, but I have actually been through all of this and basically this is all going. Like, I don't need any of this stuff anymore. This is obviously Lila's nursery, so I just need to have a quick tidy in her tomorrow. And then this is the state of my room at the minute because I have pulled everything out from under the bed, packing, and I'm just, oh, yeah, I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> the bathroom is kind of done i just need to leave out obviously things that i need to use for me and lila until i move i've got like two weeks so i'm gonna have to basically come home from work and then just like pack the rest of my stuff or when she's at my mum and dad's i can just pack The last two years I've been like me aiming for something all the time. Not even the last two years, I could just see my whole life, but like maybe the last four or five years I've been aiming for something. I was doing my foundation year in London and then I came back and I had three years to do for my degree. Then last year I was trying to like get to graduation and do work full time and I was pregnant. And then obviously I had Lila and then I have to go like back to work and I'm still trying to figure out like career goals like so I think like aiming for that is like another thing I'm still trying to do and I'm trying to get a car and move a house I just feel like oh my god like this I just want a coasting year where I've moved I'm settled I've got everything I need in my life and I can just enjoy the year and relax like that would be the aim and I do have a feeling that that will come next year or the year after maybe 30 is just the year of the coast because I'm just tired of always striving for the next thing and you know I think it's great to have ambitions and goals and I'm definitely not one of those people who like sits down and is like oh yeah I'm fine I'm chill but I think my goals and my things that I'm striving for are more things that I need and that's what's stressful like I need to have a car because otherwise like I'm not really sure how it's going to work with Lila and her childcare for like a long period of time and I'm like I need to move house I need somewhere to live I need a job because oh, do you know what I mean it's like this constant stream of thoughts i'm just like right i need a cheeky little break i'm gonna do a sheet mask night two minutes oh it's coconut and cacao amazing so i forgot to end the vlog yesterday because i i can't remember what the last clip i filmed was but I basically got straight in to the bath, had a little self-care evening. As you can see, I'm so renosed because of this freaking cold. And then Lila is now home, so she's making her a bottle. And then we're going to watch Vampire Diaries whilst she feeds because that's my TV time.